Right, welcome to uh, Coastal Forage in McCraig Evans. Something a bit different today, still in West Wales, we're just over the border from Pembrokeshire to Camarlinshire. I'm here to uh, well, see what we can get. Lovely, playing the basket. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Good, isn't it? Decent. Yeah, we'll try again. We missed the focus and went to the left hand side. I'm a big fan of prawns too. That was a little bit of prawn. Yeah, that's the best one. Yeah, that's the best one. Sounds good, isn't it? Sun gobi, mm -hmm. yeah, the blue white bait, but yeah. we're not going to do that today. We will yeah. put it back. We tried those before; they're quite nice. Yeah, they're nice when you uh, in an omelette. Throw them up in an omelette and stuff. Nice prawns, salt and pepper. Oh, I'm looking forward to eating them. Yeah. <laughs> That's a shrimp. That's a shrimp. That's a shrimp. No, it's small, but uh, we're in out of the flavour. Delicious. They're a different type of prawns. No, same one, it's a female with the. Trash heads, yeah. The eggs in it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm every time. Ten every time. Oh, I'm sinking there. Eh? Oh, yeah. Nice catch. The prawns across there now, and uh, a nice little pretty pollock probably spawned, spawned early on in the year. So we're putting this back here eh? again. Member of the cod family, and they're big, delicious eating. Yeah. And a load more prawns. And more prawns. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Here we are, nice little haul of prawns, and like on one of the other videos, it was a bigger one. Uh, we come across these lovely scorpion fish, big mouths, and they come in and follow the prawns. Yeah, so we'll put him back now. Put him back in the water. Eat some more prawns. <laughs> he ain't eating any of ours anyway. <laughs> I'm not sure there's any left, mate. Freaking millions, eh? Millions. You just, you just don't realise how, how bountiful the coast is. Cow, you can't have them. <laughs> okay, we'll pick some of these mussels now. As you can see, they're uh, well covered. These mussels are about, I don't know, 18 months old. 18 months old. And, uh, and we pick them off. They attach themselves to the rocks by this thread, which is a very strong uh, natural glue, like hairy. I think it's called a bisis thread. And when we clean them later on, you'll see that you need to remove this. Not poisonous, it's just doesn't taste very nice. All the cooking area now, come across this little lock, lock pool. And you can see there, all these snake locks and anemones. Uh, they're the anemones that don't retract their tentacles. And uh, there's about there's one, two, three, four, maybe five there. Uh, they are edible, deep fried, they're quite nice.
But like I said on the other videos, if you touch them, they do sting. You don't feel like a stinger, but if you leave the tentacles on your hands for any amount of time, it will bring out uh, red welts where they've uh, poisoned you. Right, that fish now, uh, I'm not sure exactly what its uh, name is, but if you look at it, it's like a scorpion fish. It looks a bit like a skin of a sturgeon. I'll, uh, I'll check out what it's like when I get home, because I've never caught one of these locally before. I'll just put him in the pool and throw him away. natural cave on the Camarlinche coastline, as you can see, nicely protected. Got our own, our own little table, you know, for, for the food. Nice, nice and dry in there. We'll cook outside, and uh, if it rains, which is very dry in Wales, now we protect it. Yeah. Right then, now we've got our mussels now. We've uh, picked them off, uh, off the beach there. And so to clean them, you need to pull off what we call the bisis thread and scrape off barnacles. Not that it's uh, poisonous, it's just that when they cook, the sand and the barnacle might get inside the mussel and maybe gritty. So we need all the mussels to be like that. And what we'll do is uh, we'll wash them. So when they go in the saucepan, that's how they'll be. Come in, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Five minutes. Now. Right. right. We're going to serve our um, mussels and prawns in hollowed out rolls. We'll just cut the top off the roll. Hollow out the inside. It's like serve them in us. There's the ones I've done earlier. Yeah. Right, so we're going to make cooked mussels now in a cider sauce. So, a little bit of Put in the garlic now, put the white garlic. Yeah, okay. In the mussels. Okay, right, so we've cooked and peeled our prawns and mussels now. So we've saved some of the juice from the cider and the mussels. That's going back in. Now the peeled uh, clean mussels and some of the garlic, when garlic is going back in. And we're going to add, add all the nice prawns. Yeah. A couple of minutes to heat through. Let me so, give it a check. There they are. Warming through. Give them a good stir. And they are ready. Just putting a few wild chives on the top now. Just put a bit of uh, extra garnish and flavour. And, and there we are. A nice, a nice foraged meal of wild prawns, wild mussels, wild garlic. Cider sauce and food chives inside crusty bread rolls. All, all served in the cave in Camarthenshire.